your pupils aren't always showing your level of stress, but they are showing the type of task that you're doing. It's really common for us to kind of get narrowed down into thinking about pupil reactivity as like a response to stress or not, right? One or the other. But in reality, what they are really showing you is like how your brain is controlling light so that you can have strong vision or visual acuity, right? So if the sun is shining in my eyes and I'm trying to catch a fly ball, anybody who's ever been in that position knows it's really hard to accurately see the ball because there's so much light coming in. Same idea, if the pupils are really big, a lot of light's able to come in and we don't see as clearly. This can be really useful if we're in dim lighting, low light conditions, you're out to dinner, you're looking at the menu and you realize like, I need that pupil to get bigger so I can let more light in so I can actually see that thing in front of me. But if we're in a bright, sunshiny day, I need to reduce that pupillary size in order to be able to see clearly. Now, this also comes into play when you think about things like uh, concentrating or deep, deep activity, deep work, where you're trying to read or you're trying to analyze something. That pupil needs to be tuned just right with your lens so that you can get, let in just the right amount of light to see clearly. But then sometimes we, we kind of overlay that and inappropriately assign that to like, if you're startled, right? So someone jumps up and scares you, we know that sometimes there can be a pupillary response that comes with that. In that instance, we may see that little dilation of the pupil as a way to widen the aperture, to be able to take in more information from the visual scene so that you can quickly get oriented to what's going on. So in one sense, we may dilate those pupils in order to get a broader picture of what's going on so I know where to direct my attention. And then other times it may be related to the light, it may be related to cognitive activity or any combination in between. So rather than look at it as an on off, it's either we're stressed or we're calm, that's not the way to look at it. We wanna look at it in terms of our vision, how we are best able to match to acuity because now that gives us way more subtlety into how to understand those pupillary reflexes. Then when we measure them, it gets us a better idea of which pathways are involved.